God. Gosh, that looks nice. Is that all for me? Wow. <laughs> I think we have to swap around. I am a lot more excited by this. <laughs> oh. oh, I'm a yeah. lot more excited by you. <laughs> no, I think yours looks wonderful. It's a sense of generosity, isn't it? This is a festive. This is a festive lineup. Sort of You've science. definitely got the best smell going I on. Do you, you have to like open your start. mouth pretty wide to get this oyster in. Mm. It's pretty big. Oh, oyster. Oh. Mm. Meltingly tender. Mm. A little touch of sweetness. Oh, God. I don't know quite how to do this. Really, I suppose just spoon a little bit on. Is it tear them up? Yeah. Mm. And you know, this is perfect family food. And it's sort of user friendly, isn't it? It sort of encourages people to get stuck in and mm. spray crumbs all over the place and you know, drop teramostata down their front and just get in the mood. And mm. the other thing about this is that it is food to share. Delicious. Actually, can I try an oyster? I haven't tried any oysters. Delicious oyster. <laughs> mm. Before you've eaten them all, well. Bad luck. Very nice bacon. If we're talking about nationalities, mm. that's very British, mm -hmm. that's very Oriental, and that's very Greek. I don't, so, I, I, I don't, I don't think this is very Oriental. Do you in multi-ethnic Britain, this seems to be entirely appropriate. No. Mm. no. Mm. Representing Northern Ireland, Richard Corrigan is the last chef to cook up his canapes. He's making roast wild duck with beetroot puree, oysters with a spinach and tarragon butter, and tartar of beef with bone marrow and soft-boiled quail's egg. Richard, I find it... This isn't a normal Richard Corrigan fare. No, 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 I'm very... It's very, very no, unusual. I mean, it's not like a guy of an Irish stew, a bowl of Irish stew. I respect everything, but canopies I'm very fussy about. I think you should have a whiff of imagination, a whiff of lubricants, you know what I mean? A little bit of, you know, look at them go, wow. And tastes great. Elubrance? Yeah, they should. They should be, you know what I mean? It's Christmas morning, you know? He's changed. I've got to go and look He's changed. Up in You've yeah. changed, Richard. Elubrance. You know, it's a canopy party. Let Prue decide, yeah? The canopy <laughs> queen of Britain, yeah? For his tartar, Richard's making mini burgers using the best Irish minced beef. And then there's going to be a little piece of pepper bone marrow sitting on top of it, and then a piece of quail's egg. And who have you tested it on? Uh, nobody yet, you know what I mean? Marcus is keen to have a taste, though. You are, you are going to share. You are going to share it, aren't you? With a bit of seasoning on there. Yum yum. And he thinks it's a little too heavy on the seasoning. Are you serving that with champagne or with a jug of water? Oh, sherry. <laughs> for his second canapé, Richard's gone for oysters. And he's using a spinach, watercress, and tarragon butter, all cooked under a hot grill for a couple of minutes. Richard, that sounds awfully like uh, Oyster Rockefeller to me. Sorry? That sounds like Oyster Rockefeller to me. The gratinated oyster, yeah? Rockefeller I, style, I, whatever, you know? I must say. But must, it's I'm not a... the classic Rockefeller recipe. Richard's final canapé is wild duck breast, which has been roasted and served with a beetroot puree. Richard went to Northern Ireland to source his duck. He wanted a particular breed, so he headed to Loch Ney in search of Bill Beckett and the perfect teal. Bill, <laughs> good to see you. <laughs> so, come on, what have you got from here? Of course, Loch Ney, what, some 20, 20 odd miles uh, long and about 18 miles wide, fresh water, uh, lots of crustacea, shallow, nice sweet grass around the edge of it. 